star-studded and action-packed, Transformers 3 and 3D heads to the moon and back with the entire human race facing total destruction. Broadcast Film Critic Association member Brett Martin here with you again. Hey, thanks for watching. Okay, Autobots and Decepticons, they face off in this apocalyptic tale called Transformers Dark of the Moon. It's over. I'm sorry, but it's over. Shia LaBeouf plays Sam Whit Whitkey once again. This time he's looking for work and finding nothing but trouble in this film by director Michael Bay. Now, Megan Fox from the first two movies is not in this film after she allegedly compared Bay to Hitler. And I think executive producer Steven Spielberg had something to do with the fact that Fox is not in the movie. But in any event, Shia has a new hottie, supermodel Rose Huntington Whiteley, and together they face death and destruction after an Apollo moon landing conspiracy comes to light. Now the Autobots, the good guys, and the Decepticons, the bad guys, duke it out for a very important energy source left on board the alien spacecraft that crash landed on the dark side of the moon. It's sex, violence, action, and it should be a big hit with moviegoers. The star-studded supporting cast includes uh, franchise favorites like Josh Duhamel, Tyrese Gibson, and John Turturro. Also on board for this third installment is John Malkovich, Francis McDormand, Ken Jeong of Hangover fame, and McDreamy, Patrick Dempsey. Now, acting is not what's important in this film. It's all about giant robots that change into cars and trucks and fly around and fight and blow stuff up. But of the three Transformer movies to date, this one is definitely the best. There's not much to criticize here. What you see is pretty much what you get. These clips really tell the story and thankfully it's easy to follow even if you're not into the whole Transformer story. It's really good guys and bad guys fighting over Earth and really not much more. The only issue that I have with this film is that it's 154 minutes long. The first two hours are great, but the last 30? kind of dragged a bit. Total destruction of Chicago was my favorite part, but the length of the film got in the way of a good thing, in my opinion. The flickometer gives Transformers Dark of the Moon up four out of five. The CGI and the 3D technology is amazing. It's fast paced and the action was dizzying at times. It was just too long. So now you know before you go. For those of you who have a smartphone, and a camera on that smartphone, you can scan this QR code on your screen right now. This will allow you to send me an email directly and tell me what you thought of this film. And I promise I will answer every email personally. I'm Brett Martin. Thanks for watching this FlickedUp.com review.